Hi everyone, this is Mark from the Incarnate team, and this video is to show a walkthrough of the current state of the map builder. Keep in mind this is an early prototype and there's still a fair amount we intend to add. For this demo, we're running Incarnate on an iPad, so it's open in Safari. We'll start out by giving our map a name. How about something super original like New Kingdoms? The first thing we'll do is use a large brush to carve out a few land masses. Right now the brushes we have in the app paint oceans so they're subtractive. The art style for this map is fantasy, Tolkien-esque even, but keep in mind that the final map builder will have several different skins to choose from. More than one fantasy style, sci-fi, horror, near future, etc. As you can see, there's currently three sizes to the brush. This allows the user a lot of control, but also keeps things simple. Our design goal with this is to make it possible to create really nice maps very easily, even if you have no artistic ability. Now with the small brush, we'll draw in a couple of rivers and add deltas to them. Next, let's drop a few objects in. Here's a compass in the lower right hand corner. The released app will have a lot more objects to choose from and in a lot of different art styles. Now let's populate the new kingdoms with a few cities. Our adventurers need terrain to have to trek through and around so let's put a mountain range in there. We also have individual mountains you can place to fill in any gaps. Now let's place a few hills and trees to break up the wide open expanses of the new kingdoms. And last but not least, we have to have a dark tower and a menacing cave. No fantasy map is complete without a dark tower. So now we have a continent that's starting to shape up into something worth exploring. In keeping with our original naming theme, let's designate two kingdoms, north and south. I'm sure they'll get along wonderfully. And as you can see, it's very easy to designate text and move it around the map to wherever you want to place it. Using a smaller font size, let's name some of the cities. And also the island in the upper left. Now once again, we're going to move the text around and place it in an open space in the map. So there you go, that's our map. Now the next step for us on the map builder is to add a grid on top of the tool. This will then set us up for creating the dungeon, wilderness, and city map modes. In the final release, we intend to make it so you can link objects to other maps and encounters. So if you clicked on this city, then the city map you created would pop up. This will allow you to have all the maps for your campaign in one easy to navigate file. So that's it for the map builder. We appreciate you checking it out and would love to hear back from you on our Kickstarter page on what you would like to see from Incarnate.